Hey there, water signs. Now, before I get started, when I was doing the air signs, I kept saying Scorpio when I got to Libra card over here. So Scorpio, you might be dealing with a Libra. Um, you might be dealing with an air sign at this time. Uh, good or bad, not sure. Go and watch the air signs and have a look. Um, but let's get started. This is for the water signs in general. Uh, then we're going to do a Lenormand, so I'll shuffle them right now. Water sign messages and we'll get them out. Um, so we're going to do a general reading first for the water signs in general. And then we're going to separate each one and add a Lenormand for more energy. And then we'll do a yes and no to tie it off. So here we go. Good luck, water signs. Hopefully we get some beautiful readings. I'm pretty sure last week's reading was pretty damn good for the water signs. Especially Cancer. I remember that the Cancer one was beautiful. Um, I think they got the swans or something out of this deck. And um, yeah, it was good reading. Anyway, here we go. Let's go. Water. Pisces, Cancer, Scorp. Good luck, guys. Let's turn it over for the general reading. Ooh, I should have... I think I've jinxed it, guys. Uh, the Moon, one of my least favourite cards, but it actually represents Pisces. So you might be all about yourself this week, Pisces, and maybe it's time to just focus on yourself. Um, in general terms, the Moon is hidden secrets... Not necessarily bad secrets. Sometimes people keep things to themselves because them knowing it can't change the situation, but if they know it, it could actually hurt them or something. So they just keep those things hidden. Some of you might be dealing with somebody that's been very sneaky, very secretive. Um, it might have been going on for a while because it is sitting in the past part of the reading. Uh, in the middle here, we've got going and reminiscing over the past going on around you guys. Um, so this can be family time, this can be gathering a family, it can be mum, grandma, the grandkids, whatever. Uh, it can just be, you know, two people together and they've got no children and it's just them together. It could be brothers and sisters. Uh, but I think there's some sort of reminiscing going on. Hopefully it's not getting stuck in the past here, stuck about things that you don't know from the past and, and pulling those negative things through. Um, I say that because of this Two of Swords energy. I feel like some of the water signs out there, you're trying to make some sort of decision at this time. You're just not ready. So let's get to it with the signs in general. Uh, not, not in general, sorry, each individual one. Pisces. Like I said, you've got the moon, so you might be dealing with someone that's being secretive, sneaky. Uh, there might be something you're trying to find out, you're trying to find out. Like it could be a medical thing, it could be a money thing, it could be a relationship thing. It's like, I want to know, I want to know, but it's just the answers are not coming through. Let's see if we get an answer here. Ooh, I wasn't expecting that, Pisces. This is some sort of done deal. This can be a relationship commitment going to that higher level. Somebody could be, oh, are they going to or aren't they going to? And you're going to find out he proposed, she's, they're getting married, you know. Um, it can be a new job, a commitment of some kind. This is beautiful energy. So I think that Pisces, this just represents Pisces in this. Uh, I'm going to take the moon as a positive sign with the ring today. I'm going to take it as it's just a Pisces energy and that you're you're getting some happy news. So congratulations, you've got a new job. Congratulations if someone's proposed to you or someone within the family is getting married. Um, this is nice energy. So let's just do a quick yes and no for Pisces to finish this off. Just think of your question, Pisces, in your mind. Uh, if we don't get a yes or a no come out here, just take the messages as they are and I'll give you the energy of what I'm picking up for Pisces. All right, Pisces wants to know, yes or no. I'm waiting for something to jump, Pisces. And we're getting, might not go as planned, Pisces. New home, new life, new job. Well, that's good time for the engagement thing. You know what, Pisces, I'm not going to give it a yes or a no. If the moon is positive, as I said I felt it was, I'm going to give you a yes with these three cards here. With this one sitting here, it's sort of like, mm, not really the way you thought, and then that would turn that into a negative, so it's sort of like a yes and a no. It's more of a yes than a no at the moment for Pisces. Usually when I see a yes and a no, I feel like either you already know the answer or um, it's not the time to write 
right time to ask that question, whatever it may be. Okay, so that's Pisces. Let's just move these out the way. All right, uh, Cancer. Cancer. Okay, Cancer, this could be family time. It could be reminiscing. Don't get bogged down in the past, Cancer. That's the first message here. Um, the Six of Cups is usually sixes. is all about parenting, responsibility, who's responsible for what. But like I said, if you spend a little bit of time maybe looking at a photograph that makes you smile, um, that's a good energy. But if you spend time looking at a photograph that reminds you of something bad or you think about something that happened 10 years ago, one year ago, whatever, don't get bogged down in the past. Um, that's what I could say at the moment. Let's see what the other energy is, whether it's positive or negative to add to this. Okay, we got the moon. So we had the moon come out for Pisces. This is a different type of moon in the Lenormand deck. This is the phases of the moon. So you might be one of these people that likes doing the full moon release and the new moon intentions. Um, it might have nothing to do with that. It might just be telling you everything's happening for a reason. Everything will happen when it needs to happen. But again, the moon can be sort of like trying to find something out. Um, and going back into the past to work it all out. Now, if you're dealing with some sort of health-related matter, uh, you might need to look at the family history at, at the moment. Uh, so that might be why the moon's here and this reminiscing type thing. If this is about a relationship going on at the moment, um, you could be single looking for love or you could be involved in a relationship. I feel that it's only a matter of time. This is a nice energy, but we'll just see what we get for yes and no and what messages we get from here. So just focus on what you want to know right now, um, Cancer. And uh, does Cancer get yes or no? If you don't get the yes and no come out in here, I'll tell you what I feel the energy is at this time. Uh, yes or no for Cancer. Okay, nothing's going to jump cancer, so what do we got? Uh, new job, new house, things look good, and you have a loving connection. Uh, this is all about connection to me. It's like family. It's The picture is the mother and the child in the garden talking about the flowers. You know, it's the old days, the old times, the get-together. We've got the house in the background, which kind of looks like no house I've ever seen. It looks like a castle. <laughs> um, and you've got the birds flying everywhere. You've got the sun shining here, but it's actually supposed to be the moon. Uh, it's like the sun shining up here and the moon's coming up over there or vice versa. Um, so, yeah, and then you've got the moon here. So, yes or no for Cancer... I think you know the answer within yourself, Cancer. Because uh, this is like yes or no. This one's yes. This one's yes. And then this one's a yes and no. So we've got more of a yes on the table than a no. But I think that you already know what the answer is for you. Okay, let's just move these out the way. And let's get on to... Scorpio, last but not least, Scorpio, last reading for the day. Okay, Scorpio, make a decision, rip off the blindfold. You're trying to choose between jobs, people, situations. Should I have this? Should I take that? Should I eat this? Should I eat that? Rip off the blindfold and have a look what's there in front of you. It's like you're blinding yourself instead of seeing what's there. Two can be all about two people being committed to a job, to a person, to a journey. When they're black twos, it means somebody's lost their interest. Somebody's not committed anymore. They don't know if they even want to do it anymore, whatever it is. So let's see what your energy is combined. It might be time to apologize to somebody. Uh, this can be where you're thinking, should I go and apologize? Should I wait? Uh, is she going to apologize? Is he going to apologize? But this is usually the bouquet of, I'm sorry, um, sorry things got out of hand, whatever. It's a female energy. It's usually the female who she feels a bit lost sometimes. She could be depressed. She could be anxiety. Um, she could be someone that's been hurt. She could even be somebody that's lonely. Uh, in the working uh, area, she could be somebody that does accounts or she could be somebody that is um, in law or military or something like that. 
Um, so either you or her, there's some sort of apology and things. On a totally different note, this can be congratulations as well, the bouquet of congratulations, but I'm feeling it's more to do with I'm a sorry, um, a sorry kind of energy because of the, the Two of Swords energy here. Um, and if you look, it's almost like an eclipse going on here. We've got the moon in full swing, but the sun's coming out. So this is like all the mysteries being revealed. You just take off that blindfold and you'll see what it is. So you need to start looking at the bigger picture here, Scorpio. So just think of a yes and no to finish this reading. If you don't get a yes or a no, um, I will tell you what I feel the energy is, okay? So yes or no for Scorpio. I was waiting for something to jump. Okay, you've got change of career and wishes coming true. So this blindfold might be, I really don't want to leave this job, but I need to. You know, I want to follow my dreams and I'm not committed to this anymore. So I need to go. So you've got the change of career and then your wishes finally coming true. And this would be the people going, we're sorry to see you go, but good luck on your journey. So it can be like that as well. It could be if you're the boss of the, the place, um, you want somebody to stay, but you know they need to go. Um, and in a relationship, it also could be like that, like wishes coming true. You've got to make a decision about what you want to do. Anyway, that's what we got for Scorpio. That is the water signs, and I'll catch everybody next week.